Oh, All right. The troublemaker. I'm not afraid to say that I partly want to weep right now. I don't know what I was thinking, but not being here for the last 10 days kind of led me to think a lot of stuff was going to be done. That's not the case. Oh, why are we sleeping in the living room? <laughs> Take a guess. <laughs> Alright, you will see that having this as a TV area is a natural fit, people, and it looks great, and I actually even like that furniture. It's the size of sheet that should fit. What the heck are you doing? You have it all on wacko. No, it's not going on. Stop putting the chair on the bed. Ruby, leave me alone for five seconds, okay? I've been with you nonstop for days on end. Ask Dad questions. Leave me alone. Daddy. Natural fit. Could look good. Extra furniture that doesn't belong in here. What the heck is this? Oh, Jesus. Figure it out. Kitchen. Let's see if there's anything in the cabinets, shall we? Oh, there is kind of wacko. What the heck? Let me ask you a question. When you get a dishwasher delivered, why don't you have them take the old one? That doesn't work. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I'm not quite getting. I don't expect all the boxes to be undone, but I say let's keep the boxes in the basement and bring them up one at a time style. Let's not go hog wild with all sorts of weird boxes and furniture that don't belong in here. Painting? Hmm, funny you should ask. Only one room even began to be attempted. I'll take you in it. Guess what? That's the color that was on the walls. They didn't even get painted yet. This is what's happened. I was expecting, honest to God, and I don't think it's too much, in ten days, that Mr. F might have at least painted the one room, and the movers, we paid them to set up our beds. Yet, when I've arrived, not a single bed has been set up. And then this is what he says, Mr. F. Oh, they might have asked me if I wanted that, but I just figured I was going to paint. Um, yeah, but anyone with a brain would know you're not going to paint all the rooms simultaneously. Now this is what I have to deal with. The house is certainly not baby-proof. It is a freaking disaster area. I'm overwhelmed, and I kind of want to die. Let's be real. <sighs> I mean, honestly, honestly, I thought some things. I thought at least the rooms would maybe, maybe not have anything in them, but, like, not be cluttered beyond repair or belief. I mean, we all know I'm not going to be able to unpack the boxes any more than I was able to pack them with kids around. But people, this was a good decision. I mean, it's not all the way set up, as you see, but this furniture looks good in this room, and this cabinet looks fantastic. I'm almost oddly even liking the lamp up there, even though I would not normally put it up there. Alrighty. Hey, guys, we're definitely not putting a chair on top of a bed. Yeah, I'm sure it was. But this stuff, this looks good. I mean, it's a little, you know... I think this could be a good scenario. All right. What are you doing? We're all twerk. Just on putting that chair on the bed. <laughs> check, check. Hey, Charlotte, you want to say check, check? Say check, check. They are very excited to be home. I'll say that. And she's whoa, very excited to see Putty. All right. Ready, night. Oh, jeez.